Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here at the range today, do a little bit of goofing around. <clears throat> and I wanted to do so many challenges, so little time. But I wanted to try this challenge that was posted up by my buddy Chris. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but uh, Chris is a pretty cool guy. Does a lot of the challenges that everybody else puts up. And he thought this one up, and I think it's a pretty cool idea. Uh, getting harder and harder as it goes down. So he calls this the eye exam challenge. <laughs> and we have uh, starting out really big up top here, but we come down and we're, we're pretty darn small right here. But uh, 50 yard challenge and <clears throat> one shot per, per bullseye. I'm gonna go ahead and try this with my this is uh, one of the first uh, real target 22s that I ever bought, put in my collection. This is the Remington 513T. I actually have several of these now, but this is the first one I ever bought. This particular one was made in 1952. I have my other one over there in the box. It's the military. Uh, version and that one was made in I think 1941 and my other one that I have was made in 1965 or 66 one of those two but uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot this uh, this is topped off with a an inertal 14x scope very very crystal clear 50 yards is absolutely no problem I can uh, it's got very fine crosshairs in it and actually I did do a couple of uh, just checking the zero shots uh, with this SK semi-auto and it did really really good so I'm gonna stick with that didn't have to took a couple of clicks down to get it right on the money so <clears throat> but I believe there's 21 so there's 6 11 15, 18, 20, 21. So including that big top one, there's 21 circles all together. So maximum score of 21. It is cold and windy out again today. <laughs> Got my uh, Oro heated vest, which was the Christmas present from our company this year, <laughs> which has really been very uh, appreciated. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, top, top one. Do I have to read off the letters as I go down? <laughs> so that top one's an E. All right, I hit right on the back spine of the E. I was actually aiming for the center, uh, the center little thing sticking out in the middle of the E there. So hopefully we can tighten that up a little bit. Let's go for the F. like I hit just above the again the little post sticking out I was aiming right for that so that's a little bit closer let's go for the P that wind is something can you see the wind <laughs> I think that still counts. I cracked the circle of it, so uh, we'll have to let see what Chris has to say. T. 
T. Okay. T. And an O. This one has a pretty nice trigger. It's a bit heavier than my Winchester 52s that I'm used to. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. Right, so I'm on the Z. Starting to get smaller. Now for the L. All okay. And the P. Now for the E. Good shot. And now the D. that one so that one that P I don't know if that I cracked the line of it but I also touched the line of the uh, the E above it so Getting small, people. <laughs> All right. Now let's go for the the P. All right, that was a good shot. <clears throat> now for the E. There's a lot of ease on this target. Ooh, I just barely got that one. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, because the wind's gusting up, that's why. This is a nice scope. It's, I, I mean, it's, <laughs> it should be for what they cost nowadays, but... Let's see if this wind will die down a little bit here. But, uh, man, I wish, I wish some of the nicer newer scopes were as nice and clear as this thing all right now we're going to go for the f
and the D. Doing good so far. All right, I'm gonna have to pull one, one round out of this new box here. It's a fun challenge though. It's a good one. All right, so these, uh, these bullets are, these bottom ones are about twice the size of a 22 bullet. So, not too bad. Not the, hard, not the hardest uh, challenge, but it's still. All right, E on the bottom row there. Got it. And let's see what's next. An F, another F. Got it. Another C. to carry up a little bit but I got it all right we got a Z there got it all right Let me dig one bullet out of this new box here See if we can clear that last one. So I uh, got a P there, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, other than that, that first P, which I went a little high on, I'll go grab that target and take a look real quick. But uh, we'll probably have to let Chris make a call on that. But it looks like I cleaned it. Cleaned it. Stand by. All righty. So I am back. Uh, I uh, I think I cleaned it. I think I cleared the whole target. That, uh, that top one, the wax ring is not inside of the, uh, the red of the E, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> so there you go. Go ahead and uh, look up uh, Chris's YouTube channel. I'll actually have it tagged in the description here, but is channel is just Chris Lang, uh, his name, and uh, it's a pretty cool challenge. Go ahead and, uh, well, if you need the target, either send me an email or you can contact him on his channel and he can email you the target as well, but uh, pretty cool challenge. 
you think that you would think the uh, upper ones would be the easier ones, but those are the ones I struggled with. But uh, there you go. That is uh, pretty darn cool. Got a 21 out of 21. Can't get much better than that. Cool old Remington 513T. Doesn't disappoint. Always been a great rifle. So, hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.